when I started painting, I was in art class in high school and I was lucky enough to have a teacher that had a couple of airbrushes. So when you got finished with your normal work, he would let you mess with the airbrushes. That got me hooked on that. And then I went from high school to painting surfboards. And there would be times where I'd come to work and there'd be a note on the door that said, waves are good, we'll be back later. So if there was nobody shaping, there's nothing to paint. So I said, kind of screw this and started messing around with cars and bikes. What's up guys, this is Pete Finland, or I go by Hot Dog. I have a custom paint shop here in Temecula, California. This year I've been painting now 37 years and having fun every day. I do motorcycles, cars, boats, helmets, anything, even fingernails. We take care of all of it. It was a cool time. I worked there from at West Coast Choppers from 2002 until 2010. Did all the painting there. Super cool experience. I'd still be there if the shop was open, but you know, nothing bad to say about it. Yeah, that was kind of like the heyday of the chopper thing and all that. And, and those bikes are still pretty timeless. They never got to be silly goofy. Not too long, not too fat of tires. They had, they had a good profile, they were, they were cool bikes. It was cool because I would be at a show later on or even during the time I was there and people would say that, you know, you're the only thing keeping those bikes relevant right now is like the progression in the paint. The bikes stayed the same kind of, so that was cool. I, the, the, the probably the, the favorite thing is pinstriping because it's instant gratification. It happens right now. It's fairly easy now after all the years. The car stuff looks awesome when it's finished, but man, it's a lot to get it there. Here at the shop, we, we kind of do everything, but if I had my choice, it would be motorcycles only because time per money is bikes are way better. Cars, they sound like a lot, but the labor in them, it doesn't equal out at the end. Yeah, my Chevy shop truck outside, we just finished that. I ended up kind of like a, a cool deal. One of my customers brought it up and, and had it here. And I, I looked at it and said, that truck's kind of cool looking. And he said, you want it? Because I just got it to sell it. So I worked him a deal on it. And it's kind of like the timeless you know, package of the 80s or 90s and the 15 inch wheels. So it's a cool truck and it has to have flames. It was over the course of probably a week, but the flames actually started at 8 a.m. in the morning with the black truck and it was pinstriping flames by 8 o'clock that night. And here, here at the shop right now, we're, we're kind of getting it dialed in to where we're getting stuff in and out faster than most paint shops do, I think, and I've been one of them. But I would like to, in the future, get a little more education going because there's a lot of people getting into this stuff that aren't necessarily learning the right way so when they do get into actually doing it, it doesn't look as good as it could, I think. So if you kind of learn the right way, it makes it easier. You get better faster. It's how it should be.